This is what happens when you lose build plate adhesion. Today we're going to take a look at a new premium powder coated PEI sheet that's coming onto the market. You ready? Let's do it. Aloha. Welcome back to Practical Printing. It has been way too long. Um, and this poor Nubian here. Oop. Well, fortunately, he's going to continue his life as a block later down the road. So to the matter, there's a new company producing build plates that goes by OSEC, O-S-E-Q. And they are out of the Czech Republic, uh, out of Prague. And they've got some unique things to their plate that put them in the premium category. They reached out a couple weeks back, wanted to know if I would be interested in taking a look at their new plate, and I said, sure, but I want to put it up against the stock Prusa plates for the MK3S and the Mini, and I wanted to be able to compare it to the Ultra Stick uh, plates. So let's pull them out, take a look at them, and then we're going to take a quick look at how the textures compare to the other plates. Now today we are just doing a first look on this. I'm going to put some time with these on the printers with different materials and see how well PLA versus PETG versus heavy, heavily laden colorant filaments or glitter filaments and different things that could impact um, stickability. I'm going to use that word, stickability on the plates and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll come back in a, a second video with a, an actual formal review. But today, let's just pull them out of the bag and take a look and do that comparison uh, against the other plates. Now, I already did open the envelope just to make sure what was in here. And so let's pull these out. They did include a letter with it, basically wanting to introduce themselves. Um, They, a fresh new 3D printing company from the Czech Republic. They were founded by a few guys with some in interesting history in not just the 3D printing world. Combined their knowledge together, created our first product, which is the Safe Sheet, which is what they are calling this. Apart from that, um, they think it's the best quality PEI surface on the market with a velvet texture. It is very smooth and compatible with the usual range of materials. Just test it out. So they're out of the bat, they're going to have three sizes of this available. They have the Prusa Mark III size here, like so. They've got a couple of stickers in here and they have the Prusa Mini size, like so. Now they call it a safe sheet because as you can see right here in the video, there's a, this little area at the front that's black and when it heats up, it lights up red and tells you that it's a hot surface. The texture as you can see is a velvety black and it does show, you can see the body oil there, it does show your body oil very good so you know if it needs to be cleaned or not. That's very cool. Um, the third size plate that they are coming out with is a 235, 235 size, which should work for our printers such as the Ender 3 or the BQs or some of the other ones out there in that size range. Now, how does this compare to some of the other plates? Let's have a look. All right, so there we have it. So we have the original Prusa plate here. Now this is an older one and the newer plates, the coloring may vary. This is um, a couple of years old and as you can see it's held up pretty well. Um, there's a little piece of filament here stuck to it that I haven't um, busted off yet. Here's the OSEC plate. You notice the shape is very similar except for they put their holes here in the back and they follow the original V groove. Now let's slide to the back here. 
In this back row, we have the Ulta Stick plate. Now, Ulta Stick has two flavors currently on the market. They have the gold plate, which is the mini size one here, and we'll talk more about that later. And they have their newer black special edition ones. Um, the texture on the two plates and the, their behavior and everything is identical. The only difference is the cosmetic of the plates. So that's where we're going to compare. As you can see, this is definitely a much smoother texture uh, versus the, the rough texture of these two plates. And there is a dramatic difference in the texture between the Ulta stick and the Prusa plate, even though they're both textured. Uh, I don't quite know how to explain it or to quantify it. Part of me wants to call it ordered chaos, I guess. The, the Prusa plate feels more calculated in, in the pattern versus the Ulta stick plate, which uh, feels a little bit more natural, more organic and more, uh, more random. Um, so we'll pop these on an MK3 and we'll, we'll, we'll see, take a look at the bottom of a print. I'll run the same print on all three and we'll look at the bottom just to see what the texture looks like and we'll compare there. Sliding over to this side, we have the same thing here with the mini plates. We have the OSEC plate in the back. We have the original Prusa plate in the front here. And we have the Ulta stick plate. Now, the Ulta stick plate and the Prusa plates are darn near identical in size and shape, uh, even the holes line up. So they were obviously cut from the same cloth. Same thing on the texture as the other plates where the, the, the Prusa plate feels more uh, more planned in the texture and the, the Ulta stick seems more organic. And again, the OSEC is very smooth. Now, the shape of that one is slightly different, however. If we line up with the back where it fits in, you can see that the Prusa plate is slightly longer. And this one doesn't have the V cut out uh, like the Prusa plate does, but instead it has that hot surface indicator. All right, so let's throw these on the printers and let's take a look at the bottom texture so we can compare that. And we'll come back and summarize everything up in a bit. Okay, so on all three plates, I printed two 40 by 40 by four millimeter squares just to keep it consistent. They were all done in the same filament one traffic red PLA using the exact same G code. For each plate, I went through, cleaned the plate with isopropyl alcohol, reran the Z offset wizard, and created a profile on the Prusa Mark 3S for each of the three plates. This first look, I only printed these on the Prusa Mark 3S because the texture is going to be the same and the stick is going to be the same whether it's the Mini or the Mark 3S. It's the same formulation across them. I also printed an Alexa holder which has a uh, kind of a filleted back surface so that we could take a look at that as well, just as a, a another print outside the cube. So it looks like they're all done. Let's have a look. Okay, so as you can see, I've got two squares for each and obviously the texture is going to be different. Let's zoom in and take a look at that texture now between them. You can tell with the genuine Prusa plate, the original plate, that there's a, a nice texture to it, but it uh, is very small beads, if you will, of the, the PEI, the granular. So the texture is, is there, but it's slight. Uh, adhesion to the bed plate was fine. Um, keep in mind, this is a well-used, well-worn plate. Um, this is version WA11. So that is a bit of an older plate. I don't know what their current formulas are or how that compares. Let's look at the Ulta Stick Black. As you can see here, I did have a lift, little bit of lifting in one corner here. That was my fault because I didn't have the squish on the Z offset quite down far enough for it. The second piece came out fine. And you can see, as I commented earlier on, that the texture seems a little bit more organic on the Ulta Stick plate. It's not as if it was as mechanically placed um, 
I, I don't know how else to say that, but um, it, it just seems more organic, more randomly scattered than, than the Prusa plate. So, and last up, the plate that we're looking at mostly today is the, the OSEC plate. Now, I did both of these, and as you can tell, they are very smooth, but it's not like printing on glass. It's almost a satiny finish. Um, I don't have one of the new Prusa satin plates to compare it to, but I would imagine it's similar to that. But it is a very nice, smooth, consistent finish. Uh, you can tell the second one came out just a little bit better than the first after I'd readjusted the Z offset there. We also have this Amazon Echo holder that is made so that the power supply can insert into the top and the Echo will fit in here and it can just go right on a wall directly up to an outlet and hold it together. Uh, I chose this because there's a little bit of a fillet around the outside edge where it prints and that would usually tend to curl just a little bit at the edges or warp a little bit at the edges when I've printed these before. So that is a good test of the adhesion there. As you can see, it came out with a very nice smooth finish. Um, it doesn't have the texture of the other plates. It's almost like a, uh, an ironed finish using Cura or Pierce Slicer on the top, um, you know, similar, similar to this. Um, but it fills in and squishes in very nicely. The last thing that I mentioned early on was on the OSEC plate, they have, call it a safety sheet uh, or a safe sheet. And one of the features on it is this band across the front here turns a nice bright red as it's under heat to let you know that it is a hot plate and give you a warning so you don't stick your hand in and burn yourself. I'm not sure how useful that is because I typically treat all plates as a hot plate unless proven otherwise, but if you have kids in the house, that might be a good warning for them. And that seems like a good place to wrap up the first look. Um, I'm going to go back and put these on the printer and throw a bunch of materials at them, PLA, patchy, etc and see what sticks, what doesn't. Um, see after some wear, how the surface pans out um, and maybe come back probably in about a month just to, to compare and see how this holds up, all right? So first look, adhesion was good. Surface finish is unique. Asterisk note there, I can't compare it to the Prusa satin sheet. I don't have one, so it may be similar to that but it is definitely unique compared to a stock PEI sheet or printing on glass if you like that smooth finish rather than the textured finish of the other plates. Be sure to check out OSEC's website. It's www.oseq.io. Link is down in the description. If you want to learn more about this plate and see if they have one that works or fits on your printer. And with that, aloha. Oh! <laughs>